Hi guys, Van here from rcnightmare.com. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through how to uh, replace the stock slipper gear in a Traxxas 4x4 with the um, center diff. So as you can see here, I have the, the 4x4, the slash 4x4 with the top off here. So, okay. The slipper is right here, right behind the motor here. So to get access to that, all we need to do is remove the two screws that are right here and then two screws underneath that are right here. I've already done that just to save us a little bit of time here. So, and then for demonstration, I've already removed this cover to give us uh, a better view of everything. Here it is with the stock uh, slipper gear in there. So, with the four screws, two on top and two on the bottom removed, it's really straightforward to slide the rear assembly off. And there you have it. This is the slipper gear. Um, just go ahead, just pull that right out. And what you see coming out there is the um, drive shaft. That can stay in there. We're not replacing that. So here it is. Slipper gear. It's fine, but... Um, you can upgrade it to a uh, center diff, which is actually pretty nice. This way your um, power to the front and power to the back is, is not t uh, locked together, so it's not 50 or 100% to the front and 100% to the back. Depending on your uh, driving condition, it will actually um, move the torque back and forth. Okay, so this is the... Um, replacement center diff here. Um, the thing to note is if you're just going to do a um, straight replacement, make sure that the um, spur gear on the old um, diff here is the same number of tooth as the one that you're replacing. This one is uh, 54 and 54, so it matches. But even though that it does match, what we want to do too is um, mesh the, the pinion to the spur gear. But the process in um, putting this back in is just as easy as it was to take it out. So this end goes right in there. Fish around to find the, uh, the aluminum uh, drive shaft. As you can see this bearing right there, right? It needs to be seated on the uh, chassis. So. Okay, so there it is. It's just a matter of um, uh, fishing the end of this shaft here onto the uh, opening in the drive shaft in there. So as you can see it's in place. Um, for this demonstration I'm not going to do the gear mesh. The gear mesh will be in another video. So if you need to see how to do that by all means please check that out. So there you have it with um, the new center diff in place now. You can just go right ahead and slide the rear assembly back on okay so when you're putting this back on um, there's a notch on the back of the truck here you can see it real well this little notch right there and that needs to go over this little notch on the end of the rear um, assembly so let me just get that started. All right. 
actually. Actually, the way to do it is get the other end of the center diff into the rear assembly there, and then just slide that on. And then what I find works is if I just turn it over like this, and then move the truck back and forth with the front wheels on the table or ground, this way it spins the uh, diff and gets the shaft lined up to go into the rear housing. There you have it. So that part's in there. And from here, it's just a matter of two screws up at the top and two screws up at the bottom um, to reattach the uh, rear assembly to the chassis. All right, so I hope that helps you guys out if you're ever interested in uh, replacing the stock slipper gear with uh, a center diff. Okay, so if you like our video, please subscribe to our channel. And then uh, if you want more, if you have other questions, you can post them here or check out our website at rcnightmare.com and we'll be able to help you out there too. Thanks.